Emily, how did you write it? How did you write Wuthering Heights? This telling of Emily Bronte isn't like a traditional kind of biopic. It's sort of loosely based on real events that happened in her life and the Bronte family's life, intertwined with elements of Wuthering Heights, which is the book she wrote. So it's sort of a, a combination of the two worlds, a retelling, I suppose, of her life. This story hasn't ever been told this way. I think that's what Frances has done. She's not set out to do a biopic. She's set out to explore a sort of bunch of what ifs. I've always loved the Brontes. I've always loved Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. And I just wanted to make a film that kind of redressed the balance and really put Emily at the middle of it and looked at who she was in a way that was kind of very full and celebratory. So I wanted to tell a story about somebody who's trying to find out who they are in an authentic way. What we observe is her trajectory and her evolution and into a woman. Freedom in dogs! I think Emma is really, really quite special in what she's done with Emily. And I mean, all of them, Ali and Amelia and Finn. There's something so specific about the scenery all around Yorkshire that you really can't replicate anywhere else. It's just so stunning. And it's like a nice kind of transformative going back to the 1800s and seeing what the Bronte's lives were like. It feels quite fresh. I think that when people watch the film, they'll have escaped for two hours. To live and to be a fool, Charlotte. How right you were.